Hi, question number two. A particle is released from rest at a point h meters above horizontal ground and falls vertically. The particle passes through a point 35 meters above the ground with a speed of v minus 10 meters per second and reaches the ground with a speed of v meters per second. Find the value of v and also the value of h. All right, so let us uh, draw an illustration. Suppose that object is here. It's falling. It's passing through a point here, and the point is P. This point is 35 meters above the ground. Here, the speed of the particle is V minus 10 meters per second. It hits the ground here with a speed of V meters per second. So now, we are told that we need to find V. We need to realize that there's uh, also the acceleration due to the force of gravity. A is equal to 10 meters per second square. Now, how can we find V? We can use the Suvat equation and we can use, uh, say, V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. What is V square? Now, the um, V square is the final velocity. Okay, so the final velocity is V. So we have v square is equal to initial velocity. At this point here, the initial velocity is u, and u is v minus 10. So v minus 10, all squared, plus 2 times a, a is 10 times s. The distance here is 35. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to try and calculate this and expand. So v square is equal to v square minus uh, 20 v plus 100, okay, and then... 350 times 2 is plus 700. Alright, so we have then v square, v square is going to cancel out. 700 plus 100 is 800, so 20 v is equal to 800, and therefore v is going to be 800 divided by 20, and v is going to be 40 meters per second. So this is the first part of the question done. Second part, we need to find the value of h, that is the height here. Okay, first of all, what is V? V is equal to U plus AT. The initial velocity here, U is equal to zero when the object is about to be released. And the acceleration due to the force of gravity is uh, 10 meters per second. Okay, so maybe we can use this equation to be able to find the time it takes for the object to fall from, from here to here. So what is V? V has been found to be 40. So I'm going to say then 40 is equal to 0 plus 80, so 10 times t. Therefore t is going to be 10 divided by, I mean 40 divided by 10, which is 4 meters, uh, I mean 4 seconds. All right. Now, the other equation we can use from the Suvat is uh, s is equal to ut plus half at squared. S is H, so I'm going to say H is equal to UT, and therefore 0 times T plus half AT square. A is 10 times T to the square, and T has been found to be 4. So, therefore, H is going to be equal to, all right, uh, T to the square, so 4 to the square. So this go out, it's going to be 5, 5 times 16, therefore H the height of the object of the, above the ground is and 80 meters. This question is taken from October 2000, sorry, 2015, okay, and A-level maths, HSC M1.